This is a Terraria mod you might have not heard of that you need to play right now. The mod overhauls a bunch of vanilla things and has some of the coolest and most unique visuals I've seen in a Terraria mod. Let's hop in game and check it out. We are back here checking out the Dormant Dawn mod, another Terraria mod made by our Chinese Terrarian brothers. We know that they love to destroy and make some of the best Terraria mods I've seen coding wise. But yeah, we checked this mod out a while back and it's been a minute and I want to see if there's any new stuff in terms of equipment bosses all the goodies it definitely looks like there's a bunch of new stuff but first off we're gonna cover bosses but first off before that who's my boy right here reds hello ice slime hold up you talking to the ice slime <laughs> yeah that ice slime moving a little different am i tweaking yeah i know this mod does overhaul some vanilla things for example if i hold a sword look at that <laughs> it's a little bit different let's talk to my boy reds here hello i am a hunter i am homeless now can you provide me with a house I got you, my boy. You can challenge him? What does challenge mean? What the heck? Yo, we already got some weird stuff. I just noticed our character walks really weird, too. Look, I kind of messed with it. But uh, let's, let's get a house for my boy here. All right, I done made my boy a house. Yes, sir. How you like it? Hello, ladybug. I like that he just talks to random things. Hold up, grass slime? What's this grass slime up to? Go ahead, hit me. Damn, it stinks in this house. Hold up. The grass slime, he's giving me stinky. No, that might just be the poop. He's giving me ballista panic. Your ballistas rapidly shoot in panic. What a weird thing to give somebody. But yeah, now that you got you a little house, Reds, let's do this uh, challenge. What is this? Enter grassland. What the heck? We got a loading screen? <laughs> I like the little uh, animation in the bottom left. Okay. Warriors, you can. Okay. You can what? Come on, Reds, give it to me. Are you going back? No. So what's going on here? What is going on here? We got like a, a side scroller going on? I don't know. I'm going to switch to the yo-yo just in case I do a little too much damage. I really like how this mod has some uh, vanilla tweaks. I like that we're holding our yo-yo like a textbook from school. But what am I trying to accomplish in this? Am I just trying to kill like a bunch of slimes? Is this like a little event? Yeah, it looks like the, the tier of slime is going up either the further I get or just, you know, wave after wave. But I'm going to keep on going to the right. As you can see, it's a decent area. Back to blue. Oh, no. Hold up. We got a mix of slimes now. We got a good mix of slimes spawning in. I wonder if we fight like a king slime or a new boss from this mod. Let's see. Hold up. There's a chest. What's it got? Forest wooden magic wand. So you're supposed to do this early. I mess with that noise. And this thing says W. Yeah. I take those. And we're back. I low-key mess with that. Look, there's another one. Should we do this other one? We might as well. Don't even think about it. Hold up. My boy's here. Oh, do I got to beat my boy up? You sure you want some of this brave grass slime? I respect the bravery. Hold up. He about to hit us with some moves. Let me hop out of God mode here. Let me see the moves my boy got. Let me see that slime shock. That's it. It's just a jump. All right. I beat him up. Oh, he said something about bullying. Bro, he dipped he dipped he left so fast i couldn't even read his text but this is kind of sick i really mess with this little early game thing you could do to get some gear little mini like event and challenges i kind of want to see them all but we got to move on and check out the other things okay i lied i did one more it's called abandoned warehouse yo your character puts the sword away i had to check this one out though we're gonna quickly run through it because i'm trying to see this abandoned warehouse okay here it is can i break the stuff in here oh damn we got new enemies popping in not like i new enemies but not slimes i'm messing with this i'm trying to think of some like crazy events and scenarios they could do with this in the future once they add in a little bit more uh, custom enemies and stuff like they could do some cool stuff we could like raid like a goblin village we could raid like a skeleton fortress like there's some things that they could do in the future with this that could be pretty sick so let's check out the first set of bosses here starting with this one let me make sure i'm in master mode we got this the life guard now i think you're supposed to fight this in the next boss three different times so we can see here look first fight second fight and third fight so i'm assuming every time the fight is gonna get a little bit crazier but we got the life guard here we can break its little uh, outside life crystals it's shooting projectiles it's got the little crystal spinning around it it shouldn't be too crazy of a fight because look how early it is this is literally before the king slime it should be an easy fight my boy said r what that means I, as the guardian of life, acknowledge the power you possess. As the guardian of life, I will remove the power containing your first life limits. If your heart seeks more power, please return. Look forward to our rematch. Oh, okay. So I think I remember. You got to kill this guy to uh, 
yeah increase your health so a little bit different take which is kind of cool and then we got this guy the mana guard which is also the same thing but i believe for mana so if you want a different route to increase your life and mana you know like a required boss it's kind of cool kind of gives a little bit more of an rpg aspect i would say like you can't just force yourself to get like 400 health in what 200 mana off rip you gotta really fight something to get there there's an actual obstacle in the way so you can't just become op as soon as possible but yeah i'm assuming there's not much to see in terms of uh fighting with these early ones so we're gonna take them out quick and move on to the next one now another cool thing this mod does is it has boss summon intros Oh my god. Actually making the King Sam see a little seem a little scary, bro. I don't know. He's scaring me. At least with that roar. But then we beat him up again. And look at him. He explodes. Scary on death too. I respect it. Too bad he's just the King Slime. But there is a mini boss in between this withered acorn spirit. How do you spawn this thing in? There's a chance to spawn when cutting down trees in a cemetery. Let's spawn it in regularly, but let me make a cemetery for it. Okay. Flashing lights for anybody sensitive to them. Let's see the withered acorn. What's my boy got for us? Man, this dude just a silly acorn. Look at him. What is he about to do? This is a boss? Hold on. Let me about a god mode. This dude seems like actually silly. You got nothing for me? Oh, that woke him up. Hold up. My boy is actually with the shits. Oh, hold up. The music changing up. This is not the type of music I expect from fighting an acorn from a tree. This sounds like the type of music I'd be hearing as the Doom Slayer. But he got a couple attacks on him. It's not like he's a complete, like, fool or joke of a fight. He's got some decent attacks. Like, look at that. Homing projectiles. He gets off a couple attacks and it looks like he gets tired and just drops to the floor like that. I still mess with him, though. As goofy and tiny as he looks, I mess with him. Cool death animation, too. And he also dropped some goodies for us. Look at this. Of course, the, the Master Mo Relic. Dropped a little acorn cannon. Let me get some acorns for this cannon. Oh, yeah. All right, let's quickly run through the next phases of the lifeguard and the mana guard boss fight. So what is different from their fight? Okay, they seem a little bit quicker and they got a couple new attacks. This dude is spawning in life warriors for us. Okay, I'm messing with it. He's got a lot more hearts around him too as a little shield. So it's definitely gonna be harder to hit him because you gotta break them unless you got good piercing weapons. It's early game, so you probably won't have too many piercing weapons. But let us finish him off again not too many attacks still still early on this is post king slime now and again he will make our uh, health cap higher i believe this will be for 300 yeah there you go 300 and then bring in the mana guardian what type of new attacks does a mana guardian have i think we saw this one in the first form what else he got for me oh okay my boy got the little teleporting attack the visuals from this mod are really good by the way like i feel like i don't even need to say that out loud i think it just speaks for itself like you guys been seeing but yeah let's finish him off there's not too much to show with this form too and let's move on to the third form i think yes third and last forms i'm fighting them at night just so we can see their visuals pop a little bit more hey what's that slime right there star slime okay last fight here shooting a lot more projectiles we got the dash attack no hesitation on any of these moves music is bumping by the way i think they both use the same music but it's bumping so it's fine what kind of crazy special attacks do they have to offer they got way more hearts around them but other than that it seems like most attacks are fairly the same just a little bit of higher health that you gotta go against but let's finish off the lifeguard here i'm having troubles killing it with the terrarian in god mode so that might actually be a tough fight in like master mode and then let's bring in the mana guardian for the final battle here summoning in way more projectiles and they home for like half a second you see that that's gonna be tough that's a lot of stuff to dodge what else oh okay we're actually starting to see a couple new attacks here i think visually i like this one better i don't know i feel like the, the glowing blue is just way cooler i like the attacks too i, I think i really enjoy these attacks way more than the uh, lifeguard summoning the little uh, doctor strange portals and shooting projectiles through them but i think that will probably be all the attacks from this boss also dead he's gonna give us his little spiel but in the meantime you know let's go ahead and place the statues down look at this relic this relic is like actually pretty big compared to the regular terrarium relics it's got an animation on it too so i'm assuming this one also does yo see even the relics the mod changes up a little bit man this is a great mod but yeah here we go we're seeing some of the cool little drops that they got uh we even got this accessory here a magic search circle will be generated to protect you and then we got this one greatly increase the life regen after being hit summons life servants to protect you oh man 
some great accessories you get early on here all right so as you can see when i kill the brain it says the goblin legion gains some kind of power we are getting a new little boss and or mini boss at the end of the goblin invasion which is beautiful i love me some event changes specifically when the snow legion gets some event changes that is my favorite thing in terraria mods but you know i like when the goblin invasion gets some love too but yeah i believe we have to do pretty much the whole event and then the boss slash mini boss will spawn towards the end is it me or are these goblin summoners like way way cooler or goblin sorcerers the way they're shooting projectiles look way cooler than it normally does look at that let's see them shoot look at that they just it's got a better glow it's definitely the mod that adds that little glow to them but let us see here what is at the end at this invasion come on what y'all got a powerful force is approaching oh shoot goblin sorcerer chieftain oh the world shaking there's gotta be a monster oh my god that would have hurt so it spawned all the way over here oh it's actually a really tiny one a little tiny boss a little bit less intimidating especially with how much it was like shaking the world but still nonetheless it's a little boss we gotta fight at the end and this ain't no goblin sorcerer pushover as we can see the attacks are a little bit more dangerous it's got 3.4k health in master mode what's it doing spawning in goblin sorcerers it's kind of cool oh my god this better be a vicious attack oh so it's the giant projectile so that's what was shaking the screen okay i think we've seen pretty much everything here i mess with this adds a little bit more spice to the uh, goblin invasion and probably gets even harder as you get into hard mode and stuff very very sick and of course we got a death animation what the heck was that a marty dom death animation bro is that supposed to hit you like right before it dies that's wild i can't lie hold up talisman damage can be equipped in the talisman slot ah okay i was wondering what that slot was and then we got a shadow flame this is used to make some stuff Ooh, some goodies you know let's just grab one of them let's grab a, a random weapon here because we're gonna go over the weapons later but let's grab a random one shadow flame staff Oh, I mess with this. Next up is the Meteor Excavator. What do we got? Oh, we got 10k health. Oh my god, why is he so loud? Turn that down. <laughs> no reason for him to be this loud. Turning it down did not help at all. So we got a worm boss, and I think I messed with the theme of this worm boss because it's a, just a giant excavator. And it's made out of meteor too. So the technology there kind of lines up. So far though, he seems like your average worm boss. So a little bit cooler looking visually. But I haven't seen any attacks here that blow me away for a worm boss. You can damage him pretty easily. There's no specific spot you need to hit. He's got his probes, kind of like the destroyer. Any special attacks or is that all? It looks like that might be it. Oh my God. I forgot how cool that animation was. Okay, I remember that boss now. He was in the original video and he had that insane animation. Hold up. You know, we got to check out the, the relics. Okay, simple relic. I like how his uh, expert bag is a toolbox. And then after that, we have Meteor Annihilator. So let us see what this dude is. Does he have any specific things? No? Okay, let's bring him in. What does he have for us? Yo, he just straight up a spaceship. So we got like a little Meteor themed set of bosses here. Kind of like how 1.4 was a hollow theme set of bosses, you know, Queen slime empress of light we got our meteor theme boys got a couple of projectile attacks the type that you would expect from a boss like this a little spaceship but let's start doing some damage and see if he offers anything else hold up knock this ass out oh my god low-key flashbang me if i'm playing in like pitch dark and that move hit me like that might actually visually hurt me take damage irl but i like how it turned up a little bit hold up my boy turned green and now he's got a little extra attacks yo look at these projectiles they look so good it's like they all got like a certain glow on them and it makes them all look amazing so he's got a dash and he's got, got homie missiles behind the dash okay there's some crazy attacks here look at this oh my god you better have an arena set up bro or somehow have flight early from like a mod or something because that boy got attacks for you he's got like a little like electric static field around him i don't know maybe he's about to malfunction blow up once we finish him off right here i'm very interested to see a death animation from this guy oh not even like a crazy one or anything but just an explosion hold up speak about wings my boy got wings for us these are pretty clean too like look at look how i'm moving and then he gave us a frisbee oh my god this is a pre-hard mode weapon kind of insane it's not doing that much damage so it just looks insane it's not like op the last and final boss from this mod is the hellfire serpent as we can see it is post wall of flesh so i'm assuming you fight it down here hellfire serpent hell 
that's gotta be right so let's pop it oh my god we got another worm boss here what you got for me though come on spice it up i'm not saying the uh, excavator was a bad worm boss but it's not the craziest so you gotta really show me some stuff i'm liking how the whole entire like area looks different it's a lot more ambient in terms of the background of the fight and just the lighting in general so far i don't know my boy's kind of got a basic fight he's moving around like any worm enemy would with a couple of uh, extra projectiles here and there there's no specific spot we gotta hit him in either he is kind of not really taking like any damage so maybe we do gotta hit him like the head or something i don't know i will say he's a little sporadic like he kind of reminds me of like a uh weaker softer version of like og devourer of gods in terms of like how sporadic they are hold up he's got some little hellfire serpents in the air okay a couple more things you gotta look at in dodge he's not taking as much damage so i think you definitely have to hit him in his weak spots which is probably his head but i'm having troubles even hitting his head and i'm using a homing weapon so you can see he's getting quick almost impossible to hit him in the head if i wasn't playing in god mode oh my god hold up my boy just got naked hey yo he lit my ass on fire purgatory fire high temperature causes even obsidian to melt so maybe at this point it becomes like a timed fight like you gotta kill him before you burn to death because the burning isn't stopping we have to hit him in the head hold up i gotta take out the zenith bro i cannot hit this dude but this is a pretty cool end of the fight i respect that it was a little bit tame though the majority of it like the first half but once that armor breaks off of him you know you got a little race till the end before you die let's head back up to the surface place his relic down Ooh, that one that one's got some shine to it he's got a hellfire serpent cub so we can have a little pet with us what you got dang oh, that thing is gigantic and then he dropped his staff which you got from the staff do i let go i know this is oh it spawns in pretty much a hellfire serpent i was wondering if i let go or not and then we got a ring that allows us immunity to lava and high temperature buffs and then apparently if we have the visuals on if we stand on water we turn it into obsidian this is sick what the heck it's even got a little like animation with the little sparks and stuff that's such a cool little detail it's things like this that this mod does that make me really appreciate it grabbed a handful of random weapons here let's go ahead and go through them starting with the sea lord bites oh yeah that sounds like a snack that would be in the terraria universe sea lord bites so it's like a uh, duke type weapon it shoots out little uh shark runs cool we got stone magic bow hold it press and hold the right button to charge the attack so we could charge it and then there's a certain point we gotta like release at for us to do like max damage with it kind of sick we got hell cannon nothing crazy in terms of a uh, special attacks it's just a cannon can't go wrong with cannons shadow flame book it is full of history of shadow flame magic and goblins i always like that the goblins are associated with shadow flame kind of wish that vanilla terraria expanded on it a little bit more because like every terraria mod literally expands on it so it'd be nice if the vanilla game would expand on it we got blood staff right click to absorb your own blood and deal more powerful damage so let's left click okay 101 shout out game raiders what if i let go okay so it's just a giant bolt that we let off and then if i right click oh yeah look at that oh my god charge that to 200 and i missed 200 boom it didn't insta kill that's master mode for you we got the corruption staff here this one doesn't have any special like right click attack it's just pretty much like a magic uzi right here just letting it go flame staff what you got for us i really like how the uh, magic weapons are represented in this mod i like how they all have like a little charge up animation and stuff cool attacks too obviously cool visuals hollowed staff what you got for us oh this one charges me up like even i'm glowing not just the projectiles and it's kind of like a daedalus storm bow but instead of falling from the sky it's like the little portals here we got b just the letter bring me some zombies fossil slimes damn crusty ass slimes look at them okay got us some more weapons here let's start with this one shadow imp staff what you got for us hold up can't even see it okay we got a little shadow flame imp for us i like these they just seem like really good summits that's it don't even need to see more of them we got shadow flower okay so this is like the fire flower and ice flower shadow flame blade look how big this sword is oh terra bow press and hold the right button to charge the attack so i'm assuming this is similar to that proof previous bow we had in terms of charging it like right there and it does like the best damage it does rains on people it's a terror bow like come on pistol times two simple name yet effective i know exactly what i'm getting when i use a weapon called pistol times two oh hold up. boss summon animation pistol 
times two. Terraria needs more dual wielding. We got the holy bow. What's holy about this bow? Let's see. Oh, okay. Daedalus storm bow. Or got the little portals that we used with that weapon earlier. And the arrows are kind of different too. We got super carrots. What is super about these carrots? I don't know. I'm mean, gonna guess any carrot that would damage you is pretty super, I guess. We got the Tachi. What you got for us? Hold up. What am I holding? It's like a sword and then like the thing you put the sword in. Fairly simple in terms of attacks. And then we got True Blood Butcher. I think we saw this one in the original video. I like this attack animation though. Instead of like slashing, we're like clapping with two blades. Last couple of things we're going over in this mod. We got some summons here. Just check them out really quick. I just want to visually see these summons, see what they look like. And then another thing this mod does is that the uh, vanilla tomes are actually a little overhauled. And I appreciate this overall, both visually, a little bit upgraded in the attacks here and there, as you can see. Very nice. There's a couple of vanilla things that are overhauled, I believe. I don't know, like every single one, so I really couldn't tell you, but a good majority of them are overhauled. Am I tweaking or is this breaker blade like 30 times the size? But on top of that, this mod has these little talisman things. We got one earlier as a drop. And I want to see them in action here. Hell Gourd. What is this? So let's put this on and then I need to bind it to a key, I think. What does this Hell Gourd do? Can be equipped. Teleport the talisman near the mouse and spray fireballs towards the mouse position. Okay. Bars charged up. Let's see it in action here. Nice little like flamethrower. It seems like it's just like a little extra DPS thing. And then you got the cooldown at the very top. But what other goodies do we got here? Because I think there was some insane ones. Let's put this eye teeth one on. I think this one was insane. So let me bring in. Let's bring in the eye. We're going to use the eye teeth one against the eye. Hold up. Little uh, boss spawn animation. Watch it come through the portal. But let's see this one in action. Oh, yeah. Guess what? Me versus the eye. But I'm also the eye. It's like when you choose the same character in a fighting game. My attacks aren't as effective, though. So it's like when you unlock the boss in your party in a fighting game. Well, hold on. I want to use on this wyvern. I feel like it might be good. Oh, yeah. Hit every piece of him. This next one, we spawn in a voodoo doll. And if you know what voodoo dolls do, you know, you hurt them. And people that are connected to the voodoo doll get hurt. So that's what we're doing here. We connected to somebody, we heard it, and then the voodoo doll will do damage to whatever it's connected to. Kind of interesting. Oh, sent that boy back to his realm. See you later, buddy. Next one we got here is a lantern that illuminates near our mouse cursor, but also does damage. It lasts for a while, as we can see. I don't know what the damage scales off of. Maybe summoner or whatever weapon you're holding. It can't be whatever weapon I'm holding because I feel like a Zenith would do way more damage. This next one makes a shield that protects me from damage. Not for that long, but as you can see, I did take a couple hits. This one allows me to step on monsters' heads so I could turn into Super Mario. This one allows me to step on clouds or something like that. The cloud is down there. Okay, I think I used this one wrong, but it summons a cloud at the bottom of your feet that you can step on. It's kind of cool. So if you really need like a platform to step on, boom, bring that in. And then we got this one where we turn into the king sign for like half a second <laughs> kind of amazing the ones that turn us into like bosses and we do an attack is probably the most creative and best ones but yeah that was the dormant dawn mod shout out everyone working on it it's got so much potential bro and it's already meeting like 90 percent of that potential there's so many mods that are made by like chinese coders and spriters and stuff like that and they're all just amazing so shout out our chinese terrarian t mod loader brothers but yeah there there were some other cool things i saw in here but i don't know if they're spoilers or not as per usual but like i saw weird things morador there's a black hole like i don't want to spawn them and show you guys them fully but there's some crazy stuff in there if you go looking I'm excited to see what's in the future with this mod but yeah make sure to check it out if you guys like the video make sure to leave a like subscribe hit the notification bell all that good stuff hey if you want to see me playing a big terraria mod pack that is what i've been doing on my twitch i stream around 5 to 6 p.m literally any day there could be a stream there's no specific schedule except for the weekend is probably guaranteed streams so make sure to follow my twitch i usually also tweet when i stream and also obviously my discord i post in there when i stream but thank you everyone for watching i hope you all have a good day i'll see y'all next time